Okay, so now I'll uh, show you how I uh, connect the bus bars to the positive terminal of my battery packs. So this uh, is a one cell group that is complete. Uh, the negative side underneath has all uh, been pre-wired and all that's left to do is the positive side. None of these, uh, one side has been soldered, not the other, so this, this is loose, so that these can be moved freely. And so what I explained before, this is normal household wiring. And to connect to the bus bar on the back part here, I'll just take a pair of vice grips to bend the end of the wires at a 90 degree angle. So that's pretty simple. And there you go. Add this last piece. Like this. And now I'll bend down the fuse wiring just to hold it in place. Like that. Now, I need to solder my bus bar, copper bus bar, to the back side here. And that's not so easy to do because uh, this is a heavy piece of copper. Uh, there's no way to solder this using a soldering iron. You pretty much have to do it with a torch. Which is why I need to these, uh, lay, let these uh, leads be free so that I can move them. Uh, in order to solder them uh, to make sure I have this in uh, the proper placement I'll just put this here so this is this is how it's going to look but for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder a couple of these leads to stabilize the uh, the wires but they'll still be able to slide freely Okay, so these have now, they can't move too much, but they can slide in and out fairly easily. Okay, so what I want to do is I want this bus bar to come out like this. So it, uh, it goes below here like that, and what I use is uh, Gorilla Glue to glue it. Um, to the back of the plastic here so so this is how I want it to end up looking now I have to pull these out solder them so to hold this in place what, I'm, what I do is I uh, position it how I want it and then I put this little piece of wood with a bolt to hold it in place Okay, so by uh, this piece of wood holding onto these two uh, wire wires, uh, I can now pull pull all this out. And in theory, when I push it back in after, it should stay straight the way I have it. So let's just double check this here. That yeah, looks good. Let's pull this out and pull these out.
like so. So now I can uh, go ahead and uh, solder these using a uh, propane torch. And then once these outer ones are soldered, I'll be able to push, take this off, solder those two, and push it all back in. So let's uh, begin soldering. Both sides are now soldered. Let's take a look about close what it looks like. And there you go. Well, both sides are soldered. And therefore I can now move on to the middle part. So this, this is gonna be hot, so I'll have to be careful. Copper is a really good uh, conductor of heat, so it uh, moves up to the bolts pretty quickly. Now I have to do the same with these two. Put them in place. Now I learned by experience uh, when you start soldering this one, um, it doesn't take long for these one of the ends to un unsolder and fall, and then you pretty much have to start over. So what I do is I put a little piece of wet tissue. Uh, uh, this is not wet enough, so I'm going to go wet it. Okay, so my piece of wet tissue, I'll just drop it on here. And then I can start soldering this same as before. wait till that cools off a bit and when it's cool I'm gonna push it back into position okay so I changed the position of my camera hopefully I get a better angle uh, so this is now cooled down and so I can just simply now push it back into place Okay, so I was trying to push the bus bar into position, but I uh, couldn't push it because I didn't notice that I put a little bit too much solder on one of the leads right here. So because of that lump of uh, solder, it was hitting the plastic. So I'll just go ahead and get my grinder, grind it off, and then uh, try again. Okay, so I've ground down the excess solder, and let's now see if I can put it into place. And that's perfect. So now I'll put just pull it back off a bit. I'll put some uh, some gorilla glue here, and then I'll use a clamp to hold this together. And then I can go ahead and solder all this, and we'll have now my positive terminal on my first pack. <laughs> 